the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford, and it's Williams in at center. And for the Clippers, George and Leonard at the two and the three. Ivica Zubats out there with Robert Covington, and it's Wall in at the point. And Grant, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Something you'd know a little bit about. Well, you know, B.A., in my younger days, I might have caught a few guys, but maybe we'll see a few highlights tonight, too. Here we go. So the Clippers win the tip. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Austin on D. Zubak passes to Wall. And it's Wall again missing. To the paint. And it's rejected. George against Brown. Now here's George. Defense right on it. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Kicks it to George. 4-3. That shot off. And Boston going the other way now. Smart outside. Pass to Horford. Shoots over Wall. Horford can't hit. The Clippers have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Wall on the attack. And there's the rejection. I'll tell you, don't forget about Marcus Smart's vertical. Twice on the pipes, rejects that shot. And now just over a minute played here in the first. George passes to Leonard. Covington, a screen on Tatum. Crops in the three. Kawhi Leonard has built that three-point game now to add to the mid-range and the ability to draw contact. Now you got to guard him everywhere. Now here's Horford. Up top, Tatum. Jacks up the three. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Boy, we have seen Jason Tatum improve each and every year. Not just his productivity, guys. He's so skilled. But it's the leadership. It's the maturity for his age that's really striking. Doris, Tatum's acumen as a playmaker now is leadership by example. Well, championships are won with unselfish play. His teammates have developed their games as well. This guy now trusts them and wants to make sure everybody's involved. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And there's a whistle. That goes on Robert Covington. That's his first foul of the game. First quarter, just about two minutes in. And there's a whistle. That goes on Robert Covington. That'll be a second foul of the game. Well, just a little too physical out there right now. That's already his second foul. Williams, a screen on wall. Smart passes to Tatum. This guy is a perennial all-defensive team member. The wingspan, a problem for offensive players. And it's smart missing. The Clippers have gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. Here's Leonard. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
And everyone knows what an elite defender Kawhi Leonard is. I mean, he's a former defensive player of the year, and he can still shape games with his defense. With Leonard, he's just as sharp as ever with a stifling defense. Oh, his versatility is incredible. I mean, he can guard the toughest forward or guard each game. And he still has the energy to go out there and get numbers on the offensive end as well. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Down low. Here's Leonard. And the basket's good with the assist from Walls. Leonard's got eight points. But Kawhi Leonard's strength through contact. One of the real problems you've got to deal with as a defender. Tatum inside. Leonard defending. And he gets it to go. Tatum's gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. Wall, the pass to Zubac. And it's slammed in by Zubac. Uh, coming off the screen, head is always up. John Wall surveys the floor. Williams, a screen on George. And here's Brown for three. That shot missing. And George with some nice D. Wall finds Leonard. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in, the shot's good. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the defense to collapse. That could free up shooters going forward. And what passing we've seen from this group already, too. They could put up a big number in the assist column by the end of this one. Boy, when you think about Kawhi Leonard's career, one of the things that I'm always struck by is how he has been a model of efficiency. So smart when it comes to getting his shot and taking the right shots. Now here's Brown. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Pass to Wall. George against Horford. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by the Celtics. You know, Doris, with Kawhi, the career numbers speak for themselves. That's exactly right. A shade under 50% from the floor. In range to get to 40% from deep. No matter how you slice it, Kawhi is an efficient number one option. Los Angeles has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Zubox with a screen on Smart. Wall on the attack. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And out of bounds, the Celtics will take it. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. For Boston, they've gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Pass to Brown. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Boy, it is really hard not to root for Jalen Brown. This guy is so incredibly smart. He's a champion for social justice. Not a stretch to imagine him as the head of the Players Union someday, guys. And honestly, even beyond that, this guy has got tremendous leadership. Shooting one. Free throw, no good for Brown. And, of course, Brown has talked about his love for the strategy in chess. That's what negotiating a CBA is like. <laughs> That's right. Takes a cool head, takes some patience. Every move has to be completely thought through. And you do not want to make a mistake because it can unravel your position. To the middle. Zubac with the steal. Here's George. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got four assists in the game. That's a tougher look than it seems, folks. Paul George's mid-range game is sweet. Now here's Smart. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Six on the shot clock. Horford is screen on Wall. 
Here's Smart. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Well, you love how Marcus Smart collects himself, staying steady with the release despite being under pressure. George against Brown. Shoots from 12. George, no good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Brown passes to Smart. Over to the left wing. Tatum draws the double. Zubats with the steal. Williams against Leonard. Over Williams. No good off the back of the rim. A fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. The drive by Smart. Tatum from long range. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Back to Wall. Zubox with a screen on Smart. He takes it in. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. on Al Horford and Wall really helps you across the board. He fills up the stat sheet at both ends but he also has that presence that it factor. Whether winning or losing his confidence never wanes. And the first one at the line is good. What I love about John Wall is, yes, this is a former number one pick, highly rated coming out of high school. He always, to me, has played with a chip on his shoulder, like nightly he has something to prove. Batum is checked in for Covington. Williams is checked in for Boston. White comes in for Tatum. And so Wall nails them both. The Celtics have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Pass to Williams. Here's Brown. Back to Williams. Five to shoot from the baseline. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. The Clippers in the lead. And here's Leonard. He's got 11. Zubats with the basket on the assist by Leonard. Zubats has got his second basket. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. George drives in to the inside and stolen by Williams. Williams on the wing. Knocked away. George against White. George passes to Leonard. Now Wall. Back to Leonard. Shoots over Brown. And again, it's the Clippers. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Williams finds Smart. Williams up top. He's guarded by Zubac. And here's Brown for three. Rebound by the Clippers. George passes to Leonard. Zubox with a screen on Williams. Inside, the kick out to Wall. Clock at six. Here's Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Kawhi Leonard's so calm, mixes speeds, understands when and where to drive the basketball. Outside, Williams. Pass to Smart. Smart against Wall. Here's Batum. Bam, basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got six assists in the game. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now.
Still both teams changing it up here. Brogdon up top. Looking to end the run. Here he goes. Denied by Leonard. Well, the defensive instincts have always been so strong for Kawhi Leonard. Boy, good night, sir. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Count that one. I love it when Al Horford is challenging defenders to stay with them. Use your physicality, big man. Here's Jackson. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And the Clippers lead by 13. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And the Clippers have possession. Jackson, the pass to Leonard. George, a screen on Tatum. Leonard on the wing, hounded by Tatum. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Leonard's got 17 points. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Brogdon, the pass to Horford. White for three. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Leonard against Tatum. Here's Jackson. The shot, no good. So the Celtics will take it the other way. 105 left in the first quarter. White. And the shot no good, a bit short. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Powell outside, fires from deep. Rebounded by the Celtics. Outside Tatum. Here's Brogdon. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the middle, they swipe it. Up top, George. Williams defending. George against Williams. George passes to Jackson. Three-pointer, no good. And the Celtics shooting 45% from the field in this first. Jackson against Tatum. Pass to Brogdon. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Los Angeles Clippers. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. We'll be right back. And as the point guard, Malcolm Brogdon trying to create team chemistry through better ball movement. The more everybody can touch the ball, be involved, and score the rock, um, you know, they're going to play harder on defense. They're going to play both ends. So all around, we're going to be a better team. Now Brogdon looking to work it around, Grant. Yeah, and he's very steady with the ball. He looks to run the offense, but won't take undue risk. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Clippers team out there. Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. On the floor for Boston, we've got Jason Tatum, Malcolm Brogdon out there with Marcus Smart. Then it's Derek White, and it's Horford in at the five. You know, Grant, court is a familiar place for Malcolm Brogdon's family. It's just Malcolm's involves a ball instead of a gavel. <laughs> yeah, his father Mitchell is a lawyer and a mediator. Brothers Gino and John are also both in law. And while Malcolm hasn't gone to law school, he did earn a master's degree while in college. The three is up. 
Boy, as good as he is on the offensive end, Jason Tatum showing he can be a factor defensively. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. VA, the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Leonard. Down low. Horford with a steal. Now the Celtics on the move. White for three. Boston, no good that time either. And for the Clippers, they're shooting it at 52%. Here's Mann, guarded by Brogdon. Mann misses. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Now Brogdon. The three counted from distance. Brogdon's got six here in the quarter. Well, you have to admire how smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to his spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Here's Smart. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. You ever notice the physicality? That's an aspect of Marcus Smart's game. He just powers through the defense. Sensational shooting. Looking at the modern game, Grant, what adjustments would you have to make in your game to thrive in the league today? Well, I would have worked more on developing the three-point shot. Back in the 90s, it was more about the mid-range game, uh, a la Michael Jordan. But these guys now, they live at the arc, and that's just not how we did it back in the day when I was playing. But I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive, he's intelligent, and he doesn't mind getting under your skin. Now here's Leonard. 17 points in the game. Ball no good. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Smart against Wall. Outside Tatum. Smart, a screen on Powell. Six to shoot. Tatum passes to Horford. Off target from outside. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Pass to Wall. Leonard with a screen on Smart. Back to Leonard. Outside Wall. Three-pointer. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got five rebounds in the game. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Outside Brogdon. That one no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. There's the triple. The rebound, Celtics. Horford's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Smart. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Smart's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> the defense looking completely lost. Marcus Smart just toying with them in the paint. Leonard can't get it to go. And it's the Celtics ball. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And the foul goes against the Clippers. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Celtics. Guys, it's been great hustle defense throughout two quarters of play contesting everything and racking up the block shots as well. Yeah, and one other thing, they've got an impressive number of steals in the first half. Really good job on the defensive end. And that one falls for Smart. So he makes both from the line. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. 
to the inside. Horford with a steal. Brogdon against Powell. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. There's the drive. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. Boy, you can see the level of aggression. If Jason Tatum sees a window of opportunity to drive it, he will expose it. Some changes for Boston. Williams has checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Tatum. And it's Brown in for Smart. The Clippers trail. Up top, Wall. Guarded by Brogdon. Wall, no good. And here's Boston. Some momentum. A 15-2 run underway. Now here's White. Williams, a screen on Powell. White drives in. And a two-handed jam! Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Balls for Powell. Well, the athletic Norman Powell continues to grow as an offensive player. Boy, this guy has got huge upside on the offensive end. He does not get the second one. And the emergence of Jalen Brown's ability to take over at the offensive end grab, it's been a joy to watch. Oh, such a joy. I mean, his improvement as a ball handler may be the biggest reason. He can drive the ball either direction now, create the space he needs for his jumper, and he's no longer a turnover waiting to happen. Well, you love the way John Wall sees the floor. He's always surveying, looking for what the defense is giving up. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? Jackson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Up top white, Williams on the wing. Brogdon from outside. It doesn't go for him. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Powell passes to George. Zubox with a screen on Brogdon. Here's George. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. One of the things that's been said before, but it's so accurate, Paul George's ability to improve himself is really quite remarkable. This guy is always looking for ways to add to an already stellar game. Now, here's Williams. Shot clock at six. Here's Brogdon. And Brogdon with the stuff. What a nasty finish from Malcolm Brogdon. My goodness, go to work. Brown against George. Zubats screen. George drives in. Add that to his line. Now three for six. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Yes, it's good. 
Brogdon's got 10. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Powell passes to Zubat. White against Powell. Pass to Jackson. Zubat, screen. Jackson can't get it to go. Boston's gone just one of six from distance during the second quarter. White against George. To the paint. Tipped. Pass to Jackson. Clock at six. Pulls it. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Brown. Back to Brogdon. White on the wing. Williams a screen on Powell. White. And that misses. That would have put him up. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. There's Jackson with the three. He buries it from three. Five points in the game. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Powell. And Boston has possession. Four-point game. Brown passes to Williams. Jackson against Smart. Outside, Brown. Trains the triple. Brown's got seven points. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Jackson, the pass to Zubat. Back to Jackson. Fires the three. On target from range. Jackson's got six points in the quarter. And they're winning and playing with great confidence, but they need to be more efficient with those three-pointers. Williams up top. He's guarded by Zubats. Here's Brown. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting 40% in the second quarter so far. Going inside. Hauled in by Brown. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Williams a screen on Jackson. Here's Smart. The kick to Tatum. Horford outside. Brown against Leonard. From downtown. Again, Brown missing. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to George. Zubat with a screen on Brown. A little mid-range shot is up. Zubat, great positioning on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. George against Brown. Now here's Horford. The three. It's rebounded by Zubat. Zubat has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Jackson, the pass to George. And that one 
goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Boy, it's hard not to think about Paul George and what many consider to be that devastating leg injury he suffered. There were people who doubted whether he could come back, and now stronger than ever. Paul George in that injury. As it happened, we weren't sure he'd ever play again. That's exactly right. It shows the determination he has and how much love for the game of basketball. He overcame that physical setback and the mental toll that's part of that and still enjoying an incredible NBA career. Now here's George. He's got 10. Leonard outside. Inside. And it's slammed in by Zubac. Well, you have to love the patience by Kawhi right there. Use the pick-and-roll game to perfection. Timeout called. The Celtics. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. And the Clippers making a change here. Canards checked in. Tatum against Leonard. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Leonard passes to Zubac. Leonard against Williams. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Jackson. Over Smart. Jackson can't get it to go. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Williams a screen on Jackson. Here's Brown. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Boy, what terrific body control. Jalen Brown, so athletic, loves to compete. Love it. And over his career, Grant, Al Horford has continued to improve his outside shot. I mean, he really has. He came into the league as a low block bruiser. Eight years in, he adjusted and added a three-point shot. And he has been a reliable player from outside since then. Free throw, no good for Brown. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Leonard outside. George outside. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. George has got 11 here in the quarter alone. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Outside Tatum. Left side Williams. And so it's Los Angeles ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. played through the first half plenty of basketball left in this one it's been one outstanding game from Kawhi Leonard 
Yet tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. And the Celtics shooting 47% in this one. Looking efficient. The one-two punch of George and Kawhi on the perimeter. Robert Covington is out there with Ivica Zubac. And it's Wall in at the one. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And they recover it. Brown passes to Tatum. Horford outside. Now here's Smart. Wall covering. Pass to Tatum. Back to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. How fantastic is Jalen Brown getting the position he wants deep inside. Easily slams it home. Leonard for three. Tries again. And no good trying to use the glass. Boston trailing. Outside, Brown. Tatum with it. He's got 10. Six to shoot. Williams a screen on Leonard. There's Tatum with the three. That one is off. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. The three is up. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Smart passes to Brown. Over Leonard. Brown can't hit. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Wall with it. Guarded now by Williams. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Al Horford. Free throw drops from Zubac. Both shots good from the strike. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Leonard against Tatum. Kicks it out to Smart. Clock at 6. Horford, a screen on wall. Here's Smart. The Clippers grab the miss. Leonard's got six rebounds here tonight. Yeah, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. To the inside, Zubac. While he is deliberate, Kawhi Leonard reads the defense and knows when and where to put a pass. That was beautifully done. Williams, a screen on wall. The kick to Tatum. Takes a three. The Clippers grab the miss. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Ball for three. Connects from downtown. Ball's got seven points. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Williams finds Brown. Smart outside. Williams, a screen on wall. A shot to stop the run. Second chance effort. And it's laid up and in by Williams. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. And out of bounds, Boston will have it. All right, let's get a report from Allie. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian?
Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Now here's Tatum. He's got 10. And that one, good. 12 points for him. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Pass to Zubox. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And here's Smart. Nine points in the game. Outside, Williams. Unloads from 13. He can't hit that time. Good D by Covington. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Leonard against Tatum. With the fadeaway. Shot by Leonard. No good. Boston has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Brown passes to Smart. Up top, Brown. George defending. Shot clock at six. Brown finds Williams. There's Tatum with the three. Buries it from three. Tatum's got 15. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Pass to Leonard. Got it again. That makes him eight for 15 for the night. Well, Kawhi understands that the team relies on him for consistent productivity. Horford passes to Tatum. Yes, great play by Horford to set him up. Horford's got three assists now in this one. Leonard against Tatum. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Leonard on the wing. Hounded by Tatum. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Covington against Williams. Leonard on the wing. Tatum with a steal. That's just phenomenal defense. The defense feels like it's all over the place and knows exactly how to guard it. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Williams. Covington against Williams. Five on the clock. Back to Brown. Three-pointer. And Wall pulls it down. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Zubox with a screen on Williams. Fades. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Smart passes to Tatum. Williams a screen on Covington. There's Tatum with the three. And here's Brown for three. They need everyone clicking here. Unfortunately, his game has gone the other direction. Leonard with a screen on Smart. Ball finds George. Leonard outside. To the middle. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Jackson comes in for Wall. Boston is gone. One of six from three-point range here in the third. Not the result they're looking for. Williams, a screen on Powell. The drive by Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. I tell you, this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. To stop the drought. A nice shot by Zubox. Zubox has got six points in the quarter. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Smart outside. Pass to Tatum. From deep. The Clippers grab the miss. George has got his fifth rebound in this one. Down low. Brown with the steal. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Williams with it. 
Looking to get back on track. And the jam by Brown. We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. Jackson, the pass to Zubat. And here's Covington. Batum is checked in for the Clippers. White, he's checked in for Boston. Zubats against Williams. Clock at six. And here's Zubats outside. Rebound Boston. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Brown. White with a screen on George. Powell against Brown. Smart for three. He can't get that one to fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. It's tipped. Here's Jackson. Zubox with a screen on Smart. The Clippers rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Clippers lead by eight. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Williams a screen on George. Brown passes to Williams. It's Smart on the wing. Stolen by Jackson. It's George on the wing. Over Smart. That's short off the rim. Outside, Brown. Williams, a screen on Powell. Here's Brown. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Well, you've also got to love how hard they've attacked the basket. All that penetration getting them lots of easy buckets. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Wall comes in for Jackson. Free throw, no good for Brown. And for Jalen Brown at the free throw line, he has worked so hard on his mechanics, and that's paid dividends in terms of his confidence, guys. Here's Batum. George for three. That doesn't go either for George. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. The Clippers in the lead. Outside wall. Back to George. Shoots over Brown. And George with the basket on the assist from Wall. Wall's got assist number eight here already in the game. Brown against George. Horford passes to Brown. Outside Brogdon. Horford, a screen on Wall. Brogdon, count that bucket. Brogdon's got 12 points. Uh, you have to appreciate this about Malcolm Brogdon. There's a level of physicality he brings to the guard position. Nice finish through contact. Now here's George. He's got 15 inside. From the low block. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And the foul called on the Boston Celtics. First one falls. What a terrific story Robert Covington is. Gets undrafted out of college, goes to the G League and becomes an MVP, and now one of the very best defenders in the NBA. Truly an incredible journey. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. 
and that's good as he hits both shots. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Brogdon against Wall. Brogdon, the pass to White. From the high post, Tatum can't hit. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. And Wall, here we go. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Wall's got five points now this quarter. I, I, it may be impossible to stay in front of John Wall. Williams, a screen on Wall. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. Well, that's not easy to box out like that. It's just great footwork, and that gave him just the time he needed. Oh, Tatum slams it home. <laughs> that's a good way to shrink the deficit. Strong defense turns into easy offense. Fires from the line. Boston with a rebound. Horford's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Williams. Out to Horford. Pass to Brogdon. Launches a three. It's good. He's six for 12 from the floor. Well, making contested shots is a valued skill in the NBA. Go ahead, Malcolm Brogdon. We see you. Three seconds separating the shot and game clock. Here's Covington. Puts up a three. Tatum pulls it in. George against White. Here's Tatum. No good. Tight defense there. Bothered that shot. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Clippers on top. They're up by five. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You'll love the unselfish play. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the floor for Boston. Derek White out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Al Horford. And it's Williams in at the four. Now here's Brogdon. Williams misses. Kennard against White. Kennard outside. Here's the three. That shot off the mark. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Brogdon finds Tatum. From the arc. Rebound by the Clippers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Mann. And too long on the shot. Boston trailing. Outside Tatum. Outside Williams. Back to Tatum. Fires the three. Hits the trifecta. Tatum's got 14 points here in the second half. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. Here's Wall. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Clippers lead by four to the left side wing that's tipped it's stolen by Leonard pass to man now here's wall back to man and count the basket he was fouled and he's going to the line for one more free throw no good 
You know, there's a toughness and an energy about Marcus Morris that elevates any team he plays for. This guy is an incredible teammate. Now here's Tatum. Let's the three fly. The shot that time, not on target. Leonard attacking. Tatum with the block. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Horford. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Williams finds Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Horford, a screen on Leonard. Tatum, out of bounds. It'll be the Clippers' ball. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Out to the right wing. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Tatum against Leonard. Six to shoot. Wall with a screen on Tatum. The three ball. After an efficient first half offensively, they've dropped off some. I'm not sure what's exactly changed. Outside, Williams. The ball's knocked loose. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubats is checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Smart's checked in for Tatum. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have the chance to score before the defense can set up. Trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Shot from the inbound. And smart with the bucket. On the assist from Williams. I'll tell you, that's really an improving jumper right there from Marcus Smart. The form is really starting to take shape. Here's Leonard. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Leonard's got 21. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Outside, Williams. Pass to Horford. to Williams six on the shot clock three-pointer is up from Brogdon it's rebounded by Zubac he is just so deadly from out there you expect that to fall on the wing man Zubac with it Horford covering now Zubac there's a screen Pure. That's basket number nine on 12 tries. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. The drive by Brogdon. Oh, and a beautiful crossover there. 
How about putting it on the deck and going with a level of intention? Malcolm Brogdon on the drive. Wall, the pass to Kennard. Zubac with a screen on Brogdon. Here's Kennard. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Celtics have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Williams with the screen. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. Again, Brogdon missing. The Clippers have gone four for ten in the fourth. Wall against Smart. Pass to Leonard. Shoots over Horford. Leonard gets the bucket. Leonard's got 23 points. All stars make this kind of shot. Contested jumper, no problem. And it's Brogdon off the drive. Horford for three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubox is... Smart against Wall. High arcing shot. Count it. Wall's got four points now in the quarter. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Here's Brogdon. The kick out to Williams. Shot is up. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Well, Malcolm Brogdon is a capable shooter from distance. We know how efficient he is. But boy, does that set up the passing game pretty. Now here's Wall. Knocked loose. Horford with a steal. It's Smart on the wing. Defended by Kennard. And it's Smart missing. The Clippers have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Wall against Williams. Out to Leonard. From behind the arc. Knocks down the triple. Leonard's got 9 points here in the second half. No hesitation from Kawhi right there. The ball is delivered. He's ready to shoot it. Zubats against Horford. Outside, Williams. Smart against Kennard. Smart passes to Williams. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Leonard. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I'll tell you, sometimes it's easier to hit the target with a bounce pass. That's perfectly done. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Now here's Horford. Outside White. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Wall. Pass to Mann. There's the block. It's Smart on the wing. Defended by Kennard. Smart with a bucket. But how about Marcus Smart displaying an ability to get through and around traffic? Exceptional control. Now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Ivica Zubac. Hey, <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. 
really a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together. We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Brockton against Jackson. Pass to George. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's 7 of 15 now. The interior game of Paul George is excellent. He does not allow the defense to bother him, even with a hand in his face. Gets the three to fall. Tatum's got six here in the quarter. That's his third triple this half, and that's after hitting only one before that. Jackson, pass to Zubats. George outside. To the inside, Tatum with a steal. Smart right side. Pass to Brogdon. To the wing on the left. Here's Tatum. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. Los Angeles has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Zubox with a screen on Brown. And George with the jam. You can see there's complete trust in Paul George in pick and rolls. Fantastic at taking advantage of the defense and the separation they give him. Pass to Horford. Here's Brogdon. And it's off from three-point range. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Here's Leonard. That one's good for two. And now it's a 12-point Los Angeles lead. Kawhi Leonard, if you allow him to get to his spots, it's an easy score. In the painted area, that's easy money. And it's Brogdon missing. Just a cold shooting net. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Pass to Zubac. Jackson against Brogdon. George outside. And here's Leonard. Just five on the clock. Launches the three. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Outside Brogdon. Let's it go from deep. That ball. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Brogdon's got ten points in just the second half. Jackson against Brogdon. Jackson, the pass to George. Horford with a steal. Brown with it. He's picked up by Zubats. Pass to Brogdon. 
Driving inside. Uneasy two on the layup. Brogdon's got seven now in this quarter. Boy, that's the level of aggression that can really kickstart an offense. Malcolm Brogdon puts it on the deck with authority. Brown against George. Now here's Zubac. It's good. And the Clippers lead by nine. Well, as soon as you recognize the size mismatch, you have to attack. Fifty seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Jackson. Zubac finds George. Shoots over Brown. Brown with some nice D. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Now here's Tatum. The three. And no good. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking. Now here's George. So it's the Clippers picking up the win. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot, BA. Well, Kawhi, you had it going inside and out. It seemed like you were getting wherever you wanted on the court. Did it feel that way? Uh, I was hoping well. Um, you know, overall, the team played well. Um, they got me in my spots. They made shots open the floor for me. Always humble. Back to you guys. Allie, thank you as always. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.